everyone, welcome back. If you're new, my name is Rebecca and today I have Pier One inspired Dollar Tree DIY decor. These are gonna be vases and candle holders and things like that. This is a video that you actually requested for me to do. So I hope that you enjoy it. If you do, be sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know. A lot of these pieces that I'm making today are on sale and clearance right now in Pier One and you can get them pretty affordably priced and the Pier One pieces are quite a bit larger than what we're able to make from Dollar Tree. Even if you're watching this at some point in the future and these are no longer available in Pier One, you'll have some fun, unique inspiration for creating your own DIYs on a budget. For the first two, I'm spray painting two Dollar Tree vases, white. Dollar Tree has a white acrylic paint, but you'll probably be a lot happier with the spray paint for this. And then once that's dry, you can use a black Sharpie permanent marker to do this, although my recommendation would be one of these black Sharpie oil markers, which will do a way nicer job, and they're still pretty affordable. I'll have the link for the ones I used down below in the info box. I used a seven and a half inch vase for one and a nine inch vase for the other and then I just copied the patterns for these two vases from the Pier 1 vases. On this one, I didn't even bother measuring perfect lines because the one from Pier 1 has naturally wavy lines that are not perfect, but of course you can measure them out perfectly if you want them to be perfectly neat and symmetrical. For this one now, just make sure your lines are going up on one side and down on the other, kind of like arrows pointing up and down, alternating them like that. For the next one, I'm using another tall glass vase and two packs of these colorful puffy stickers from Dollar Tree. I think you'll really need three packs to alternate them in the same style as the Pier 1 vase though. Since I only had two packs, I let them be closer at the bottom and then I kept the same pattern, but I spaced them out farther and farther as I got closer to the top. So the vase had kind of a um, spreading out effect where the little dots are spreading out and then I have this old gold Krylon spray paint which I don't know what happened but it's more like a dull bronze I thought this was going to be a metallic gold so I'm coming back over it I purchased a new rust-oleum metallic gold paint and I only needed a little bit of it now to cover my vase and it looks so much better now although I would mention that these Pier 1 vases are actually much much bigger than what we are recreating from the Dollar Tree vases and they also happen to be on sale. So if you want a much bigger version for a few dollars more, check out the sales at Pier 1 right now. The next one is super cute, I think. Again, the actual Pier 1 version was huge and pricey, but I think this turned out so adorable. I absolutely love it. I'm taking a pack of the wooden tumbling tower game blocks and using some glue to attach five in a row, end to end, and make four sets like that for the corners. And then four large popsicle sticks with the ends cut off. I lined them up kind of perpendicular like this, like a plus sign, and glued them on top of four more wooden blocks to make the corner feet for the base of this stand. I also used a dab of glue in between them in the center just to keep everything in place. I am using a Gorilla Wood Glue, which I'll also have linked down below. You could do this with hot glue, but you'll definitely want to go light on that. You don't want to add too much bulk in between or it's not going to really come out looking good. And since we're going to be staining this with a wood stain, the stain isn't going to cover the hot glue as well as like a spray paint might. Once it's all dry, you can stain or paint it however you want. I also made a second smaller one simply by doing four blocks high instead of five. Of course, it was super windy out and don't you know, the wind blew one down and broke it while I was painting the other one. So please do try to be careful, especially if the glue isn't 100% dry. You can add a shower curtain ring as a handle on top. I'm using hot glue for this and I'm going to paint mine, but you can do it however you prefer for yours. And then a cute little glass candle holder or a larger pillar candle on the inside would be so cute. Since it's not that tall though, I would recommend sticking with LED battery operated candles only for this DIY. And then for the last one, I'm using an ashtray upside down and gluing a T 
tea light holder upside down on that and then gluing one of these flared bases on top of that and adding my candle inside i think this candle holder for three dollars turned out super super cute i'm using hot glue to bring it all together but feel free to use something like e6000 or something stronger for glass if you're concerned about the hot glue not holding I love the look, but I think the Pier 1 version had rhinestones, so if you wanted to wrap that center ball part in the stand with some rhinestone ribbon, you can do that either way. Let me know in the comments which way you like it better, with or without the rhinestones. Anyway, I had fun making these vases and candle holders. Let me know which one was your favorite, and if you have a request for a future video idea, leave it below, and if I use your idea, I'll give you a shout out. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Have a beautiful, blessed day and I'll see you soon in the next one. Bye!